The airy sound and the dark lanes caused Dilip's stomach to growl in fear. The deep secret embedded in his heart was stifling him. He knew he had to move away from this mess somehow. A long hours of training the mind and body has taught him to focus on his target without succumbing to other pressures. The reason why Dilip couldn't perform the task at that time was the sound. Now Dilip was curious to know what was the reason for the sound. Dilip had a combo of emotions which were curiosity and fear. He slightly peeked his head out of the nearest window to see what was happening in the dark lanes. Whatever he could see was out standing straight on trees. He was scared to see the owls as they were uh, looking at him. He came back in and shut his eyes for a moment to get relieved from the sight. Dilip still wanted to know what was the reason for the sound. He looked up and down here and there till he was totally confused. What is the reason for the sound? Dilip looked at the owls outside the window. Their eyes were bright yellow. But he was still confused on what the sound was. The owls didn't open their mouths or make any sounds. Dilip knew a lot about science. He knew practically every animal that lived. He was very good at it, but he still couldn't figure what the sound was. Then he remembered what his grandpa said before his dying moments. He said three words, they will come. So he thought about that. And in the distance, when he thought more about the sound, he could hear a roaring noise. He waited for a few minutes. Then he looked closer at it. There was a huge shadow. There could only be one answer. Dinosaurs. He was shocked when he saw the shadow of the dinosaur. He ran quickly downstairs and called his mother who was cooking in the kitchen. His mother was like, Kiddo, did you get a fever? Why are you telling stupid stories about the dinosaurs? And he was like, Mom, I'm telling the truth. Come with me. He grabbed her wrist and both went upstairs. And his mom was shocked when she saw the shadow of the dinosaur. She went to call his sister. That time he got an idea. His grandfather told they will come. So he must have prepared something like at least just some protective things or a weapon. So he thought, okay, we must find it. That time he got an idea. Why won't I look in the grandfather's old trunk box? So he went to the attic and opened the trunk box. It was fully full of dust. And then when the boy swept the dust and opened the trunk he saw a key a key he went to the he took the key and then he remembered that he saw a closet in the basement so he took the key and opened the closet and what he saw he saw a set of armor for him to wear and he saw many weapons to fight the dinosaur with so he equipped himself and prepared himself on how to fight the dinosaur and thought hard. At last, he decided his strategy and went up. His strategy was target the dinosaur's weak points, meaning its underbelly or its stomach. So when he went up, the dinosaur was looking very hungrily at him and wanted to charge and eat him. He tried his best. But soon he was trapped by the dinosaur. When it was about to eat him, he used his powerful weapon which made him invisible. Then he soon escaped from the area. Then he aimed the dinosaur's belly and destroyed the dinosaur. It exploded and gave him another key. He went to the closet in the basement to open for the next level. The next level was to kill the advanced robotics from the future world. He got ready. After he got ready, he read a message saying that you can only kill the robots with emotions. 
he went to the battlefield and saw thousands of robots. Then he started to attack them, but soon his weapons completely got destroyed. When he knew that all of his weapons got destroyed, he was upset and he know he don't know what to do. Suddenly he thought of a plan and said, "I am a scientist. I am the creator. I am the creator of you all. How can you dis- destroy me? I mean, I am your parent. How can you attack me?" After hearing this, all the robots stand still. but after some times the robot found that he is not the scientist and he is not the creator of them the lip noticed that the lies which are told by him is not heard by the robot so he got an idea to deal them emotionally then he started acting an emotional story to them then then he saw a little emotion in their faces but not it destroyed so he continued it at last they all were self destroyed and exploded the dust which the exploded dust formed into a huge mountain of ash and a letter came flying from that and fell on his feet he read that now you have done your task now you are sent to future to correct some mistakes in eco life eco life system so after you read this letter a magical door will be open you must enter that there will be a time machine and you should enter the mentioned date in this letter dilip went into the time machine and entered the date which was given in the letter it was 21 4 when he reached there it was totally different he never knew that the future world would be so different It, he was also eager to know a lot about the century and fortunately he had something else to complete that is his tasks he reached an old building which was very mysterious so he entered it his suspect became true he saw a key which was floating in the air when he picked the key he realized that it was the same key which it was similar to the keys which he had gotten before but he didn't know what to do with it as there were no clues he had to find he realized that he had to find the clues when uh, then he, when he came out of the building he saw an old woman she was uh, very confused and wanted help in unlocking her door dilip went and helped her uh, by un- uh, by using the key which he had and unlocked the door he was so confused he never thought that these uh, the 24 i mean 22nd century would have keys which we used in the old days but he didn't care a lot about it so he tr- decided to check his pocket for safety when he checked the key was missing or let's see what's going to happen next then i understood that this city was filled only with robots there was not a single human apart from him and that woman who was his grandmother and who wanted to rule the world she had left his family when she got this mad idea of ruling the world how would she do that by ruling humans no humans had brains of their own but robots didn't so she created robots and then ruled the world but where would she keep the humans this and other brilliant plan of her was to keep these humans in a small secluded place in the grandfather's closet and put their lives those small dnas into a jar now dilip thinking of what his grandmother would do immediately understood he went inside this mansion his future home and took this dna jar from the grandfather's closet wrapped it around the human race and poured water on the wire which means that silver could easily bring the life back and the humans did get their lives back they got the weapons the weapons which were lying on the ground when they wanted to fight that woman they killed that woman all right and defeated the robots and after that when dilip returned to his house in peace he noticed one thing he realized that no matter what technology might be great now but it might be the destruction of human race later on